Hello, I welcome you for the multi sim software training, uh, the simulation course that pertains to electronics uh, simulation techniques and uh, simulation of electronics prototypes and uh, circuit boards. Whilst ordinarily, I would expect, I mean, uh, it, it would be expected to like, you know, go through the course contents and everything. Let's straight away start with the software. I'll explain you all the course contents and those details a little later, particularly because uh, it is important to know what the software is. It is important to see firsthand how it looks and how will the overall work process will be uh, working out on the software. What are the standard toolbars and everything? Let's see it first uh, before you go to uh, the overall course contents and description. So. As I launch the software, there are some important things that you all do need to know though, is I do expect you all to understand basic concepts of electronics, such as uh, what are the different types of components. Okay, if you don't know all components, it's fine. I mean, even I don't know all the components, but then if you should understand the pin configurations in case of uh, microprocessors or microprocessor control units, uh, basic uh, resistors, capacitors, that is all the active and the passive components as well. We'll also be expect, you all are also expected to know the instrumentation part. The instrumentation part means what are the different types of instruments that you all would come across. See out here we see, you need to know what is a multimeter function generator, watt meter, oscilloscope, board plotter. So these are some of the instruments that I expect you all to know, theoretically of course, and how they get applied in circuit in the overall analysis. We also have analysis here, right? Now out here we see what are the different DC operating points, AC analysis, single frequencies, AC analysis, transient analysis, Fourier analysis, noise analysis. So these are the different types of analysis that you are expect to know. Typically many of these will be applicable to the digital signal processing concepts or signals and systems concept. And whilst I don't expect to be using all of these, there could be situations where it would be needed to use some of them, such as uh, sensitivity analysis or distortion analysis, noise analysis. Apart from that, see out here. Okay, so let's start with the software itself. See out, this is how your multi-sim design, multi-sim software should look like. See out here, we have the, on, on the top, we have the uh, menus, the file menu and the edit menu. We have view place a place when we say place i mean this we can place a component wire junctions bus connectors now in connectors also we have different types of connector that is one page connector global connector hvsc connector the bus connectors so typically when you speak of bus connector that would be like uh for eight pin or 16 pin buses mostly gets it, it gets applied mostly in case of microprocessors or microcontrollers and then thereafter we have the new hierarchical block. Okay, this is something we'll pick a little later because this you all need to understand through while going through the designs. There is a new sub circuit here. So in new sub circuit, what you are expected to do is provide a name and then like you already have a main circuit, but then you'll also be having an additional sub circuit to the main circuit. Let's click on place again. And out here, what you are, you are also expected is like, okay, you all can insert comments and add some text, the text to the diagram or typically to the components as well. We have the graphics as well, whereby we can draw the lines and multi lines just in case these are likely to be needed if you intend to create your own components. So that is one important thing. Yes, we'll be, we'll be uh, drawing new components also. So that will be a separate course altogether. How do we save the new components? That all will come the title blocks. So when we write here title block, okay, it will tell us which type of title blocks do you have and how, how should it look like? So, okay, let's pick just one here. So again, it shows, you know, this is your title block. You can place it here. You can pull it here and you can also move it over here somewhere. And then you have, you have to enter all the details in there. So what is the design title and revised version and okay so that, that that's how it, it should look like for now let's delete it that apart let's click on mcu now that's motherboard uh, so out here what we'll see is we click here and we see they use the source code as primary secondary so there we have the mcu uh, toolbar the, the menu mcu menu 
then we have the simulate here so out here on simulate you click on run but then of course we don't have any power sources right away so you won't be able to run any interactive simulations that we can see or how they perform but then okay so as i click on simulate out here we see it has like you can pause you can stop the simulation from running and then you have instruments so in instruments again i discussed as i discussed earlier you have a multimeter function generator and different types of instruments lab you also lab view the company which has manufactured this software through national instruments and so they have these additional set of instruments also for bjt analysis impedance meter they have a speaker signal analysis signal generator signal analyzer and then we have nie lvsim instruments okay these are the other types of in instruments which you all will have to study and refer to the user manual we have preset uh, measurement probes as well from dynamic probe settings we have a uh, ac voltage ac current so that these are the different types of instruments that you all are likely to use we also have interactive simulation settings wherein um, you'll have the defaults for transient analysis instruments then the outputs and the analysis options so ordinarily we don't get too much into their settings but yeah what do you do need to know is uh, you need to know uh, how the interactive set simulation settings can be changed it doesn't appear that we are likely to use it as part of our course and then um, you also have we can load the simulation settings now what happens here is if you have already prepared a set of simulation settings then we can you load those settings in an existing file we can simply device it new every time depending upon the different types of simulation scenarios that you want and then we also save the simulation settings here uh, we have a uh, dynamic probe properties clear instrument data so when we clear the instrument data the existing settings in the data of, uh, of the instrument will be like reset to the default values or like you know, they'll be reset to zero that apart we click on transfer here now when we click on transfer here we see transfer to ulti board now ulti board is what basically it's a so this is a schematic out here we usually draw the schematic for any 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 electronics prototype so uh, when we say it's a schematic it clearly means that will be just drawing the diagram here but when it comes to like you know when we have decided that oh okay after drawing the diagram we simulated and we also satisfied with the simulation then what is the next step that we will be picking up we will be going to the ulti board ulti board is what that is a pcb board that we have to design so when we click on uh, ulti board here it should take us to another window and it will tell us where from do you want to open the which schematic do you want to transfer to the ulti board or the utility board or the pcb design board and then out here we, it saves the file name as .ewnet 